We have no idea, man. Listen, guys, it has been a real struggle trying to make videos. He's too tall, so don't mind him like being in and out of frame sometimes. His head pops in, pops out. Just listen. <laughs> Um, anyways guys, it's been a real struggle trying to make videos lately like I've been like texting him calling him I'm like dude I need to freaking make videos because I don't have my next truck and since I'm not working on my truck I'm not spending my money on my truck. I'm just kind of still saving back But I'm kind of holding out until I get my next truck so we can really start cruising on some videos whether it's vlog Build just entertainment, you know, whatever it might be. I don't want to dump more money into my truck So that's the reason why I'm not spending money right now um, on videos. I haven't really spent any money on my truck in like the last over a month, pretty much, except for like some small things that I had to order. I have to do an oil change on it here soon. I'll just take it to the shop because I'll do it for like cheap and you can even buy oil for and they'll get it done really quick. And we know who they are and they do a good job. All that to say, that's why I haven't spent much money and these videos have been kind of more like talking, vlog, like just that kind of stuff when dad's around, stuff like that, farm stuff, um, and not like truck build stuff. And so far you guys haven't been complaining about it much, so that's kind of good. There's a couple of people who just kind of like, oh, I get mad because they want to see build and they want to see me blow my money. And there's other people who are just pretty understanding and just chill and they like to watch the videos. No matter what. So what we're going to talk about today, now that we got the rant out of the way, future business plans. And I wasn't going to do this quite yet because I just wanted to kind of wait until I got my next truck or I got my next, you know, vehicle or vehicles to kind of explain this. but. I'm desperate for content right now, and so I just figure I'll just do it now, and I can kind of go more in depth and more detailed when I actually have this in the works and in the process. What have I been talking to you about lately? Flipping vehicles. Flipping vehicles, yeah. Fil flipping vehicles. And he's getting to the point to where he's wanting to do this too. He's already flipped a dirt bike. He's already thinking about just doing some other little odds and ends things. He's looking for, he's been on the hunt always for like cheap cars that just need real minor things like a fender and the fender painted for like, you can be in that whole little job for like 150 bucks and then sell the car for like two grand more. You know, you know, just little stuff like that um, that are just real eyesores for some people, but it's really not that hard to fix. In terms of what you're trying to do, what is your goal? And then I'll kind of go on into like what I'm thinking. Like, Basically, I want to start up a YouTube channel here in the next By the month. way, when he starts that, I'll plug in and you guys yeah. can kind of go check out what he's doing. Yeah. Sorry. So, I want to start a YouTube channel here in about a month, but basically my whole YouTube channel is going to be the deals that we're making and I'll be recording when I buy the cars and time lapsing the fixes and I'll slow down the video when I'm fixing it and then I'll record the resale and I want to start doing one vehicle a week and flipping a vehicle a week and then showing you guys the profit that you can make off of it because I know I'd be in interested in that type of channel and uh at, in the process, um, I want to buy a Challenger or any type of muscle car that a lot can, of traction on the channel engagement. Yeah, a lot of, a lot of traction about. and uh, throw some horsepower on it and uh, body kits and stuff like that and record that as I flip cars in the same process. And you know what? That's actually like that's pretty much what my plan was for my channel, except. We're doing different things. It's gonna. It's like the same concept, but it's a different thing. Cause like he's into cars, he's into fast cars and stuff like that. I'm into trucks. You know, there's car channels, there's truck channels, and I want to kind of do like the same concept. And that's what I've been trying to hold back from guys for like the last several, really not several months, but several weeks. Um, within like like almost two months now, I've been really just trying to find the right kind of trucks, trying to find the right kind of deals. Like maybe a truck's got really bad chipped paint but it's got no rust and all it needs is a paint job and then you can list it for two grand more. Just stuff like that, um, that you can find the right kind of deals on vehicles, know what you can get out of it before you even start. Um, so basically, I'm looking at trucks recently and let's say you got a truck with 200,000 miles on it, the guy wants five grand for it because it's got a dented driver's side fender and chipped paint. Okay, well to buy a fender it's like 80 bucks. To get the whole thing repainted at let's say Mako for a paint job that's got a five year warranty on it or you know, give or take, the paint's supposed to hold up pretty good for that long. You might only be in 1500 bucks in that entire fix, and then you're only in 6500 bucks total on that truck, and then you can list it for, let's say, $8,500, and the thing looks immaculate. That's the kind of concept 
that we're trying to get into. And it can be kind of tricky trying to find the right vehicles, not getting ripped off, you know, some some deals, but you just gotta try to get into the works of it and try to figure out what buys are good buys and what buys to steer clear from, and you'll kind of learn as you go. But that was kind of like what I was gonna do. And in the process, and the reason I said truck or trucks in several videos is because I'm thinking about buying my main truck, which I want to be a manual so dearly, it's just hard to find them. I was finding on a website called 12 Hour Recipes, all the different horsepower things and transmission things you would need from a manual to an automatic. It's so much more expensive to get into an automatic that's pushing high horsepower than it is a manual. A manual requires a lot less, I don't know, money sunk into the transmission to handle more power, like I'm saying under 700 horse, versus an automatic, if you're looking to get five, 600 horse out of it, you're gonna be in five grand with a new transmission, work, torque converter, uh, billet flex plate, all that crap. It's just so much more expensive. But I wanted to do a manual and build that truck, my personal truck, on the side for high horsepower performance, just like a show truck. But in the works of that, on the side, trying to buy and sell trucks cheap, whether it be a cheap gasser, you can get a really good price. Like we found a gasser with 65,000 miles on it today for 2,200 bucks. But it's because it's got like what a dented door, it's got a dented front fender, Rusty. it's got a it's got a little bit of rust on like a front cab corner or something like that. But if you get all that done, that truck in a new paint job and the thing looking immaculate, the thing will appraise for seven thousand dollars. I mean, you could buy another truck, swap the body just because even if the truck has high miles, you get the truck for a low price, swap the body to the other truck, and you'd still be making money on it. I mean, exactly. That's actually that would actually be a good idea for that truck. Um, but that's kind of like what we're thinking. I'd have my main truck that I keep and that I build, that I work on, that is a face for the channel, that stays on the channel, but it stays clean, it keeps getting built. And then in the side, I'm building and flipping other trucks and stuff as we go, other vehicles, whether it be a gasser or a diesel, preferably I like to stay on diesels, but sometimes the market is better for selling Silverados than it is, you know, an old Cummins for 10 grand that people can't get a loan for versus a cheap truck that you can flip for $5,000 to anybody, you know, even a teenager can walk up with $5,000 cash and buy the thing off you. So there's a market to where you might make a little bit less per flip, but you'll be able to flip them a lot more and a lot faster to where you actually make that kind of money. But you kind of got to get into the groove to figure out the ups and downs, what's legit, you know, what's not in that type of deal. And that's kind of what he was thinking about doing with his Challenger. Start flipping cars and pretty soon here, he'll be able to afford a Challenger. He can get a Challenger. That's what he was really what he's been talking yeah. about the one for months. And then he can work on that as his personal vehicle, as his daily driver, as his face of his channel, the main one that people are coming to see him work on. But in the same sense, show you guys the possibilities with flipping other cars on and the side at the, at the same time. Have you ever watched pawn brokers or anything like that? But like people go and try and sell something to them for really a higher price and they try and talk them down and then do that with like cool vehicles and I could go to see cool vehicles and place offers and buy cool vehicles, drive them and resell them and record that when I don't build onto the car. You know? And like and if you have a loss, film the loss, just kind of make a couple of videos on what to look for, the ups and downs, what you would have done differently, what I would have done differently, that type of deal. I mean all in all that's kind of like a, I mean that's kind of like the gist of what the, the new big plans are going to be for my channel. Um, and that's what he's working on for he's gonna start doing his own channel here pretty soon He's got a channel right now, but it's not like his car channel. He wants to do a car channel um, So that'll be cool. It'll be cool I'm excited for a journey of it because like like I've said a few different times those of you who haven't been around too long YouTube is awesome, right? I mean YouTube's pretty cool to think you can make a video you can you know, do Amazon Associates links in the description. You can do stuff like that and you can make money online. Like that is awesome. But what happens if it all goes to pot? You need to have something else that's a little bit, well not necessarily like the most promising things because vehicles can be kind of tricky, but definitely another income in addition that you can rely on if worse comes to work. Like right now, YouTube's a good chunk of my income, but I want YouTube to be just like a good chunk that's kind of like, a cushion or almost like a bonus to every month, just filming every day, what else I'm doing to make money as a business standpoint in addition to that. And then basically YouTube is just a huge pat on the back at the end of the month. Just kind of like, you just never know if one day just boom, nobody's making any money except for the really top, top guys and then you're just kind of like, screwed. And if you're not and making money, do? you can be making money weekly or whatever or daily on flipping cars. You can get a big income coming from that. So a lot of people get rich off of that. They start off small. Flipping cars can bring in thousands and thousands of dollars a month. If you know what you're doing. Yeah, you know if you mean? know what you're doing. You, you might have a loss a month, but you'll usually always have a loss because At some sometimes point. you don't want to hang on to a vehicle for too long and it's taking up space and taking up your time. You basically just got to cut your losses 
get rid of the vehicle, buy another one, try and flip it. Get that money back try and reinvest it into something else. Try and get a win. You can make up to $10,000 a month after you start growing your business. You can start by flipping a car a week to flipping two start, cars a week. Yeah, once to, you start flipping bigger stuff, higher ticket items, stuff like that. But. Becoming more well known in your city or by other people, then you can start selling more cars faster because you're well known and you got good credit. I know this is just a lot of talking, but bear with me. Like I said at the beginning of the video, I'm waiting on my next truck so I can do less of this and more of working on the truck. But these are some things I really need to bring up so you guys can kind of get a vision for what to expect. About the whole flipping vehicle thing, that's something like you guys. This is a truck channel. Everybody who's come here can't come here and say, I would never own a truck. Everybody here would love to, they either own a truck and they just like truck entertainment, or they're here because they're just envisioning, man, someday I'd love to own a truck. I'd love to buy you know, my own truck and lift it up and do horsepower stuff or, you know, whatever. This is a opportunity, and I've said this in previous videos a long time ago, and you guys kind of may have and may have not, you know, know when I was talking about it. But this is gonna be an opportunity for guys to buy trucks as well that they saw get built on the channel. You know what I mean? And you'll know all the history on it, you know what's been done to it, you know what I've done to it, maybe not the previous owner, but you know what I've done to it, and then you'll see it every single day, and then you might have an opportunity to where now you can able, you're able to buy a truck. If you don't have the money quite yet, and I sell it to somebody else, by the time I build the next truck, maybe you'll want to buy that one, you know, that kind of deal. So, cool idea, and the reason I might do some gassers on the side, and not, like I said, these trucks are not going to be like the face of the channel, what you're going to see me building every day, but they're going to help with an income so I can invest into the face of the channel, so to speak, that kind of truck. Because only cutting the diesel will cut in your income because then you don't have such a big crowd when you could have both. You could have diesel and gassers because some people just don't like to drive diesel trucks. I, like I said, I flipped some gassers on the side. I might make a video or two on that truck to be like, okay, this is the new truck that we got. This is These are the plans for it. Might do a video or two like where you f I feature it in there, you know, what we're doing to it. And then I'll probably do a video one. It's for sale. I mean, the reason I would do those is because, like I said, price range. You know, like I, my mom had said, she's like, you're fortunate enough to where, like, at your age, most people can't just go out and say, I'm going to buy this truck and I'm going to hand you cash right now, a big chunk of change. People my age that are watching this channel can't do that. You know what I mean? So you've got to kind of tap into that market of people who love diesels but maybe they just can't afford more than a Chevy, which is fine, like a Chevy Gas or a Ford Gas or you know whatever, something like a 1500 or an F-150 or whatever. There's nothing wrong with that. That was my first truck, that's what I drove for about a year. I love the thing. Only thing, reason I got out of it is because insurance and fuel kind of killing me on that truck because I did 35s on it and everything else and I was young and the thing was appraised at $9,000. So, but there's nothing wrong with owning a, you know, a gas truck and it'll bring up a lot of opportunity for younger guys that might not have quite as much money in their pockets. And then I'm also gonna try to do a diesel here and there for, you know, stuff like that. But I'm also, what I would love to do, once the, cha once the channel gets a little bit bigger and there's a little bit more people to get involved with this, I'd love to do a truck giveaway every couple months. And what I mean by that is basically a truck giveaway to where I have a certain line of merch or apparel that I'm releasing for the giveaway and what that means is you can buy the apparel to get entered but every like let's say ten dollars that you'd spent that'll get you an entry towards the automatically just by buying that so regardless whether you win the truck or not you still get a product you still get a service but a perk is you might get to win a vehicle you know what I mean the reason I can't do it right now is because you got to have enough people involved to where it kind of kind of pays for the truck to where you're not completely just losing thousands of dollars. You know what I mean? Um, to where you can at least break even on the thing, but then somebody gets a sweet truck, you know, sum up most of your money back, everybody gets their apparel, everybody's happy, but then somebody is lucky enough to get a free truck. So that's kind of cool. Kind of the plans, kind of the ideas. My channel, this channel. Still do YouTube as much as I possibly can because there's gonna be some months where the flipping thing might not go so well, and then there's gonna be months where the YouTube thing might not go so well. Uh, but then you got both ends to kind of help out each other to so kind of make ends meet, sort of. What do you think? Yeah. You got your point across? I got my point across? Got my point across? I think we're good. That's kind of the plans for my channel. It's kind of the plans for what he's thinking and just kind of tied together. That's why I figured I'd have him in the video because our plans kind of went together. Tied um, businesses together. Yep. And so we can make both YouTube have, videos together, maybe. Yep. If have you guys connections. like fast cars or something and you guys want to see it, you could come over to my channel and we could collab sometimes you know. yep right across the road so it works out perfect thank you guys so much for watching if you did enjoy the video let me know down in the comments below smash the like button let me know like i said 
Do you think that's a good idea? Bad idea? I think it's a great idea. If you have the market and we have a market of people who'd be interested in those types of vehicles, we're still going to list them on Craigslist and Facebook and whatnot like that, trying to sell them outside of YouTube. It gives you guys a chance as well. And also it's going to bring you guys some more entertainment. So let me know down in the comments below. Subscribe if you have not joined the family. I'll catch you guys tomorrow. Peace. Doing what I love, going day to day But I know it takes time and I'm patiently waiting Sometimes I contemplate cause One day you feel so close and the next is out of sight But I know I gotta hold on tight to go back to just going out every night Like if I'm about to let it go now I can live alright Live a normal life, doing 9 to 5 But I know I'm more than that I gained this skill, wasn't born with that At the end of the life it's a memory